Hello, welcome, I'm Hannah. If you're familiar with my channel, you might know that every month this year I've been randomly selecting a palette of indie single shadows. In April, after the first four months, I did a video where I went through them again and having used them recently, I was able to make good educated decisions about which shadows I wanted to continue my relationship with and which shadows I wanted to cease my relationship with. So now that we're at the end of the eighth month, it's time to do that again. So without further ado, we're going to switch over to my hands and check out the shadows. Okay, so here are my two palettes. In this one, I have my most recent month, which is August that we're still in. And in this one, I have May, June, and July. I think I do want to start with August because it's the one that I have the least to say about because all of the shadows in here are like really good. <laughs> I knew that when I pulled them out. There are a lot of favorites. Snickerdoodle, a favorite. Blaze and Palace from Cleona, favorites. And actually the only one in here that I wanted to declutter, I already did. I posted a video recently about shadows that were similar to each other and I only wanted to keep one. And in that Verte went up against Big Bang from Terra Moons and I decided to keep Big Bang because it's sparklier. So the only shadow that I was disappointed by this month has already been seen its way out. And I think that is going to be kind of a theme with times that I declutter because there was a point that my collection was so out of control I didn't even know what I had, so when I would randomly select it and get to use it, I would be using it for the first time in a long time. And I'd be like, yeah, easy, don't need this. Also, the more shadows I had, the more overlap I had in colors and formulas. And now I'm getting to a point, like I'm, I'm not there yet, which is why we're still doing things like this, but I'm getting to a point where I have more of a handle over my shadows. I also did do a pretty big declutter of my single shadows in April around the same time as the last random palette reconciliation. So these shadows have all, like all of these, <laughs> have recently passed that test. So it makes sense. And these are all staying. Now, onto this bad boy. I'm just going to put the camera over this part because we're going to start with May. I love the look of this group of shadows. I feel like the August palette might have the most like single shades that I want to wear on a daily basis, but this just like looks so nice. It looks so nice and I love it. And there also are a ton of shades that I really like. So let's just start going, going through it and seeing what's up. And again, also, there's a couple holes in here in like these three palettes from that video also where I compared, but there still are a lot to go through. So this is Diadem from Cleona, keeping it. Swirling Waters from Davina, keeping it. This one, this is Pistol Star from Terra Moons. I think I'm ready to say goodbye to this. This has kind of been a saga. I ice watched this when I first got it a couple months ago, and then I ended up trying out an Electrum shade that was recommended as a dupe, and I really like that Electrum shade. So I feel like the sagas come full circle, and I don't need this anymore. I know there's people out there that like this flaky formula, but I'm not really one of them, so hopefully I can find someone who prefers that formula. We have Shattered Stars from Terra Moon staying. I guess I won't be really moving these out. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. Water Mist from Davina, love that. You know, I'll move these out while it's still crowded and then I'll move it in. We're not doing a, a uniform system this time. Huff and Puff from Luxy, this is such a beautiful shadow and I want to use that more. I really like it. And then this is Lorelei from Shine by SD. This was from the collab with M. Jones 5018 and Bizarre Volta. This shadow just doesn't really do it to me. I feel like I have similar shadows to this that are this kind of like blue with the pinkiness to it. It's almost kind of like a watered down Cosmos also. It's like a very fine formula. It just doesn't particularly excite me and I wasn't reaching for it when I was in this palette and I'm ready to declutter this. Let's hop over to this one because I'm also gonna declutter this one. This is also from the same collab. It's Granny Magic. 
it's just not like enough of like a not enough of a shadow for me it doesn't have like some beautiful iridescent shine to it it's just like a really light purple sparkly shadow i see some pink it is nice but i don't reach for it and i feel like this Luxie one here, here's another kind of, uh, I have two similar ones and I'm keeping one. This Luxie now and maybe later is like the one that I prefer out of those two. And they're, they're too similar for me. The next three are Staying, it's 8-Track from Luxie, Big Dipper from Terra Moons, and Goody Goody Gumdrop from Luxie. These four are also Staying. I love these two mattes. This one from Terra Moons, Haley's Comet obsessed. That's the perfect Barbie pink in my mind, and I was wearing that multiple times during this month. This is an old Luxy One doll face. It's going to stay. This one from Davina, Frothy Surf. I want to wear that again. It's funny how, like, looking at this palette, it already feels so long ago that this was my palette for the month that I'm like, I, I want I want all of these again. Luxy Bahama Mama is staying. Sean BSD. This is also from that same collab palette. This is Changeling. I'm a little bit on the fence about this one. It's not an absolute favorite, but I did get a couple looks out of it that I liked. And it is like an interesting neutral. It's not really coming up on the camera, but I can see with my eye a strong like pink and green flip to it. I'm going to keep it around for a while longer. We also have Winter Sun from Terra Moons, which is that same super flaky formula as Pistol Star. But... I do like the color. A commenter did recommend a different Electrum shade that could be a dupe for it. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be purchasing again from Electrum, but that kind of is in my mind as a possibility. And I feel like if I were to do that, then I probably would move this one out of my collection. But for now, I want to keep it. This Terra Moon's yellow makes a gorgeous pop. Terra Moon's Phoenix, love it for my inner corner. And then these two, I think I am going to declutter. The shimmer is Cookies and Cream from Luxy, and it's like a fine, light, iridescent shade, but it doesn't particularly excite me. I thought it was a little bit too emollient to wear in my inner corner, and I don't want to wear it all over my lid, so I'm going to say bye to that. And then Canis Lupus from Menagerie. I was really curious to test it out during May, and I concluded that although it's like a nice color for a transition, it's just like too powdery for my crease. And it's too light for my lower lash line. I have shades that I'd rather use, so I'm ready to move this one out. And that's five shades decluttered from May. For June, I want to start with the ones that I don't have to think about and then move into the ones that I do have to think about. So I'm pretty sure nothing on these bottom two rows is getting decluttered. I have some of the newer Luxie shades here. I don't know if the, when this goes up I'll have gotten the new collection in yet, but at this point these are the newest shades to me. So like Nightfall was really pretty. Is this Splash? Yes, yeah, Splash was really pretty. So those 10 are all safe. I also have Terra Moon's Bellatrix, which I had bought earlier this year, and the one time that I had used it pretty soon after the ice watching video, I wasn't crazy about it, but then using it during this month, I really liked it. I don't know what I was thinking that first time. Terra Moon's Hyperspace is a favorite, that one's staying. Terra Moon's Space Baby staying, and then this Luxie Matte Sweet Cream. This isn't like an everyday color. I do tend to prefer something a little bit more pinky on the everyday, but it got the job done and it was nice. These two give me glow mattes. I'm gonna declutter both of these. I think they're a nice formula. And during this month, I was like trying to decide if it was worth it. But I think the thing that I came down to is that these big pans are annoying. And if I'm not thinking, oh, let me grab that Give Me Glow mat and going and reaching into the Give Me Glow palette, then I'm not using them and it doesn't matter if they're good. You know, it's not like I'm hurting for matte shadows. I have enough. Both of these are nice, but I don't need them. And especially, I feel like this shade seemed special in my mind for a while, but I've been using Chic Happens from ColourPop in my most recent palette all the time. Might be a little bit more grayish, but pretty similar and I really love this one and that is one that will like stay in my mind much more than this. And then we're in the sea of purples. I might swatch those out because I'm a little bit torn. And also I know I just swatched this one a minute ago as justification to declutter Granny Magic, but I didn't compare it against 
this one from the May palette, and they look pretty similar. I could imagine just keeping one. So this one is Goody Goody Gumdrop, and this one was Now and Maybe Later. Goody Goody Gumdrop, Now and Maybe Later. Those are actually quite different. Okay. I'm surprised. Goody Goody Gumdrop is much more like yellowy, like yellow pink. And Now and Maybe Later is more true to how it looks in the pan. Okay, cool. Keeping those. And then I have, what are you called again? Painted Lady from Luxie and Hydra from Terra Moons. Those are very different from each other. They're both pretty. They're both staying. Stormy Morning from Luxie. That's pretty. <laughs> I like that one. It's staying. And then these are the two that I wanted to think about the most because I'm really not sure what I'm going to do. They both look pretty similar in the pan. It is Glaminatrix Luster and Jady Glow and Sane. So neither of them are shades that I reach into very much. On my fingers, yeah, they look pretty similar. The Glaminatrix one, when I wore it, I felt like it didn't look that impressive on my eyes. I also felt like when it was out of direct light, it just looked kind of like flat. And then the JD Glow one, I always really liked, but I'm not supporting JD Glow at the moment. So it's not one that I'm like excited to talk about or post about. And because it's in a larger pan, I never reach for it. So I'm wondering, like, hmm. It is more sparkly than the Glaminatrix. I think I'm going to declutter both of them. I didn't think the day would come that I would declutter Insane, but, you know, it's just not a favorite. And I don't think I like it enough to remind me to reach into the palette and get it. And possibly I can give it to someone who has been in a pickle because they've wanted it, but maybe haven't wanted to purchase from JD Glow also. From June, decluttering three big pans and one little one. Though I think a couple of these did get decluttered in that recent video. I know Elves from Shine by SD had been in here. Okay, and then lastly, we're on to July. And I don't, I don't know if there's that many in here that I'm going to want to declutter. Let's just start on this end because it's the easier end to move around. So we have... Lucy Dragon Slayer, Gorgeous Green, Space Case from Terra Moons, like it. This one from Menagerie, this is in the shade Maine. This isn't a color that I really enjoy. I guess what I'm thinking about is the only reason I would have to keep this around is more of like BYOPs or if my taste change. And I don't want to keep something for if my taste change. Let me see one thing. I have like a Luxie shade. I wonder if it's similar. I feel like now as my collection shrinks, the easiest way for me to declutter is by comparison. So let's compare squash from Luxy. <laughs> They're very different. In fact, I feel like they would work together if I wanted to do a mustardy look. I think I am going to keep it. Like, it's not that much of a stretch to say I might want to do a mustardy look sometime. And they would look really nice. And I have it. I like the formula. I'm going to keep it. A couple of mats down there. This one from Davina Asteria. Perfect, like, grungy shadow all in one. Lemonhead from Luxy. I like that. This one from Cleona. This is Majesty. This is a beautiful orange I've had for a while. I wore it during this month, and I just wasn't feeling the most, like, me in it. I'm a little torn because it is so gorgeous, but I recognize that, like, oranges aren't my favorite color to wear, and I have a handful of oranges that I'm, like, obsessed with. For example, Frothy Surf from Davina from the May palette. I also have Arcturus from Terra Moons, which is like a really rich, fiery orange. I have Solar Delirium, which is more of like a light yellowy orange. Do I really need to keep around this one that doesn't excite me? I think I am going to declutter this. I'm not feeling 100%, <laughs> but I think I'm going to declutter this. Luxie Starburst. <laughs> Super lovely. Cleona Noble, I was really enjoying. I love the shadow. I love the tone of it. I love how it looks in the pan. I wore it on my lower lash line one time. I wore it all over my lid. I love this one. Luxie Feels is a newer shadow to my collection, but I also really love the tone of this purple. This is Cherry Blossom from Luxie. This is a newer one to my collection of a lot of their mattes. I love their matte formula. I feel like it's one of the hidden gems of their offerings. I had a moment, though, of thinking that I might declutter this today because I do have a hot pink that's the same kind of, like, neon quality in my Menagerie and Annette's Makeup Corner Serenity palette. And I was like, maybe I'll declutter this one 
And then I could just use that palette when I want this type of pink. But now I'm kind of thinking I might end up decluttering that palette because I don't use it very much. So that makes me want to keep this around. I think overall, although I do love Menagerie mattes, I like the Luxie mattes more because they're a little bit more versatile in what you could do with them. As illustrated before, I don't like using Menagerie mattes in my crease. Not necessarily like this is a crease shade anyway, but these have way less fallout. So I prefer working with these. But I don't really need that color twice in my collection, but it will be twice for the time being until I figure out what I'm doing. Menagerie Cetacean, one of my favorite shades in my collection. Sultry from Luxy is gorgeous. It's a pretty similar color to Cherry Cocoa from Glaminatrix, but I do want to keep both of them. Kind of like before, I prefer the Luxy. This Glaminatrix one is very powdery, but I just like it and I'm not ready to say bye to it. But I always find like after I declutter, I'm getting rid of like the bottom of the barrel. So then the things that weren't the bottom of the barrel now like become the bottom of the barrel and maybe it'll be something I'll want to declutter in the future, but I'm just not ready for that right now. Davina Pancake Bubbles, I love using this for my inner corner. Shine Bay SD and Seeking Shifts Fog Bow, I was using this for my inner corner as well. Meraki from Davina. Jelly Bean from Luxy. Moonlit from Davina. Luxy Ohana, I love the shade of this. Glaminatrix Adore. This doesn't feel quite as powdery as Cherry Cocoa. I don't know if I just haven't like gotten into that powdery layer yet. You know, I feel like like I kind of cracked Cherry Cocoa just by getting into it. And this like is still, I don't know if that makes any sense, but <laughs> no complaints. Under the Sea from Luxy, pretty. And then I have a jolt from Pretties for Your Face. I've had a complicated relationship with their shadows. And this was one that I kept. I liked it, but I just, I'm just not so into it. Even in the swatch, it feels like a little streaky in the way that it went on. In the pan, it feels very hard. It feels like rough shards. I think this is the type of thing that if I had a small collection, I would keep this. I know I say that all the time also, but it's true. With this many options, this is the bottom of the barrel for me. I didn't enjoy using it during this month, so I'm going to declutter this. So that's only two for the month of July. So overall, that's 11 shadows decluttered today, and I'm happy with that. I know it's not like quite as satisfying as in the past when I'd be able to declutter a ton, but that's just the price of me having a collection that suits me better. There is less that don't belong there. But this does make me very happy. I'll include this in the shot also because these are all shades that I've used recently. I like them enough to keep them. I also love the lack of large pans. I feel like getting rid of those three large pans was a pretty mature decision for me. I'll pat myself on the back for that. And it is a step on me enjoying my collection way more. So I'm super pumped to put these back into their normal habitats and have this palette empty and ready for the last third of the year. Kind of crazy that we're already coming up on that, but yeah, here we are. And next time I do this, we'll already be in the holiday season. So that's weird. But yeah, <laughs> that's everything here. I'm just rambling now. Let's switch back over to my face. And that's going to be everything for today. If you enjoyed this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And there's always way more makeup content on the way. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.